Okay. You. Um, on Social Security, you guys uh, marked the 75th anniversary, or I guess the upcoming 75th anniversary yesterday. Yes. The Fiscal Commission is likely uh, to look very seriously at, at Social Security, and I'm wondering to what extent do you think Democrats are undermining the ability of the, that commission to do its work by making a point of preserving Social Security um, and using it as wow. a campaign tool? I do not think. First of all, let me say this. I don't think that the Fiscal Commission was established to undermine Social Security, and so that our support for Social Security undermines their work. This isn't political. This is who we are for 75 years or longer uh, in preparation for the passage of Social Security. This has been a value system for us, for our country, and certainly a priority for the Democratic Party. We've stood proudly together on the steps of the Capitol yesterday to declare that we as we observe the 75th anniversary of the establishment of Social Security, uh, that we are here to preserve Social Security and make the clear def uh, differentiation. The Republicans in their budget have the privatization of Social Security. Democrats want to preserve Social Security. Republicans want to privatize it. We are for ensuring Social Security. They will enable social insecurity. So that's where we are. In terms of the commission, the, uh, certainly we all agree that we need to reduce the deficit, and that is a responsibility that we have. I make, you all know how uh, much pride I take in being a mom and a grandmother, and I have no intention of leaving my children or grandchildren any debts. And I think uh, that we all, as public policymakers, uh, share that uh, view. The, uh, the fact is, though, that I don't think, and I've said this over and over, uh, that we should be balancing the budget by raising the retirement age of Social Security. I oppose that. There shouldn't even be, there should be two separate conversations. What are we doing to keep Social Security solvent? Let's discuss that. What are we doing to balance the budget? But let's not say that we should balance the budget by making the Social Security age raising Social Security age. What is that for? To, to pay for tax cuts for the wealthy that went before? Now we have to raise the retirement age? Is that for wars, endless wars, unpaid for wars? Now we have to raise the retirement age? These are two separate subjects. The solvency of Social Security, that's one subject. Let's discuss that. Uh, reducing the deficit, it's a different subject. Are you hamstringing the commission, though, by the saying that, that, that there shouldn't be, you know, they can't even consider a, an increase in, in the in retirement age? Well, I would certainly hope so, but I don't think I will have that impact. <laughs> that would be my goal, but I don't think I have that much influence on what they do. They're an independent commission appointed by the president. Uh, they, in their role, they have to do what they have to do, and if they want to put everything on the table, I think that uh, that our seniors will fare very well. Uh, because what are we talking about here? We're talking about how we create growth to increase the revenues to come into the federal treasury. And the growth, that's one way to reduce the deficit. As we have done, the president has his commission. We have, we have done the president won better in the freeze that he had on spending on appropriations. We took it $7 billion less than the president. We have pay as you go as the law of the land. When I became speaker, we made it the rule of the House, and now it is the law of the land with, uh, under uh, President Obama. Uh, we have cuts. Uh, I've asked for all of the cuts from the uh, appropriators, and their bills are coming through uh, much lower than before. So uh, there are many uh, ways, whether it's increasing revenue, reducing spending, establishing priorities, eliminating uh, waste, fraud, abuse, duplication, obsolescence, harshly subject every federal dollar uh, to the harshest uh, scrutiny. Uh, but let's not start by raising the retirement age, balancing a budget. With the de a deficit was created by giving tax cuts to the wealthiest people in America. A deficit that was created by having these unpaid wars. A deficit that was created by having uh, laissez-faire recklessness on Wall Street that increased the revenue uh, stream to the Treasury enormously, which reduced the wealth in America by $17 trillion. And think of what that means in terms of consumer uh, capacity to, uh, and confidence uh, to, uh, to spend or to invest or to save. So you know, how do we get here in the first place? Let's unravel that 
and let's uh, uh, understand what Social Security means to us and not say, because we gave tax cuts to the rich, we now have to raise the retirement age. They're two unrelated subjects. Social Security. Uh,